Hey guys, this is Austin Weeb. Uh, uh, this message is actually geared kind of more towards uh, Sunday Christians or the people that we call Sunday Christians. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Okay, so in John uh, 6 verse 35, Jesus introduces himself as something. Okay, he does actually in all, all these cases. He calls himself the bread of life. He says, I am the bread of life. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. If I give you one hour of one day of the week to eat as much as you can, okay? But beyond that hour, you're just not allowed to eat for the rest of the week. How long do you think you would live for? I mean, seriously, just ask yourself that question. How long do you think you would live, right? Or in, in John uh, 7 verse 37, he calls himself the living water. Okay, so let me ask you a question. One hour of one day a week, you are allowed to drink as much water as you can. Just take in as much as you can. But every other day of the week, you are not allowed to drink a single drop. How long do you think you're gonna live, right? Or better yet, in Acts 17, verse 25, he says, God is life and breath and everything. So I want you to just think about this, okay? So let's say I give you one hour of one day a week to just breathe as much as you can, okay? You can breathe as much as you want to in that hour, but as soon as that hour's up, you gotta just hold it for the rest of the week. How, honestly, seriously? How long do you think you're gonna survive? Right? A minute, two minutes, right? 10 minutes before you're unresuscitatable, right? So I want to ask you a question. Uh, for some Christians, all that they get of Jesus is one hour of one day a week, okay? They only get that one day Sunday at church, okay? So I wanna ask you a question. How long do you think your relationship with God is gonna last when you only get one hour of one day a week? How long do you think you're gonna, your relationship with God is gonna survive for? 10 minutes? Maybe, right? So I wanna encourage you guys, scripture says that we're supposed to pray without ceasing. Now that doesn't mean we keep praying all the time, but what it does mean is we are supposed to live our lives as an offering to Christ, okay? So I'm gonna encourage you guys to um, live out the gospel every day, okay? And uh, you, you don't even have to read your Bible anymore. There's this thing on your phone called the Bible app and it actually reads it to you. So uh, if you're going for a drive or something, you can just turn on the Bible app and listen, right? But that's just what the Bible says about that, right? Right? If he is life and breath and everything, then we need to get more of him, right? We need to be obsessed with this God. We need to be so in tune with Jesus. So I encourage you guys to do that. I encourage you to uh, listen to the gospel and um, to start living out and obeying what scripture says. Thank you.